Hey, today I'm doing a video I feel like I have to do because some people have asked and I don't want anybody to uh, do the wrong thing when they're removing these stripes. Um, the way I did it was with a, a eraser wheel uh, and I'm still in the process of doing it. It's a long, laborious, painstaking process to remove these stripes. These are old, crusty, um, dry stripes that are just, you know, flaking away, breaking away. And uh, I just want to get them off because they look, it makes the van look shoddy. And uh, with the stripes not on the van, I removed the stripes on the other side. It has a nice, clean look. And you can see partly here, um, the difference between stripe, no stripe, stripe, no stripe. So let me get the basic equipment involved and I'll show you how to use it. So essentially you need uh, three things. You need a uh, dust mask. Uh, where will we put this temporarily? Um, there we go. You need a power drill. Mine's pretty old and funky, but it still works good. And you need a eraser wheel. This one is called an Astro Pneumatic Tool Company Model 400E Model 400E Astro Pneumatic Model 400E uh, eraser wheel, and it feels just like a pencil eraser basically so uh, you plug the drill in there we go put the drill in I'm going to shut this door shut my mask in the door that's good shut the door uh, put the mask on And we try and keep this part of the eraser wheel against the surface of the body. So that's our, that's our goal. However that works, that's what we're trying to do. So I'm going to just start the drill and dr do this. And you can see from here, um, there's a little mark right here. I can come with my finger back. Anyway. I'll just do a small section to show you how long and laborious it is to do this. Well, I didn't want to torture you with how long it takes but it took about four minutes to uh, do this this about a four inch area so I'd say you know a little more than a minute the center stripe is the hardest these thicker stripes are are very difficult it takes a long time to get through this material down to the paint these little stripes on the bottom go off a lot easier than the one on the top does too. But the center section is just painfully difficult to get off. You just have to sit there and work, work, work your way through it. And the amount of um, material, I'll show you what kind of a mess it makes here. Um, get down here on the running board. 
you can see that's that's the uh, residue of the wheel. So as it's removing the uh, decal, it's consuming the wheel. The wheel, this wheel actually started out about five inches or so in diameter, and now it's down to about three and a half. So I've used up about 40% of the wheel. As you can see, uh, it looks nice. And incrementally, uh, you just have to take it a little bit at a time. That's what I found. You just bring your tools out, do a little bit at a time, set yourself a goal of doing, you know, this much, and then this much, and then this much, and maybe by the end of the week, <laughs> you'll have that stripe removed. Then on this van, there's another stripe about four or five feet long above it that I have to remove. And um, so then incrementally, I just take a little nibble out of that one and nibble, nibble, gradually, it's not coming back. <laughs> That's the good news. Uh, the bad news is it, it takes a lot of effort and energy to um, hold the drill straight, you know, against the surface. And just to hold this shaking matter in your hand takes a lot out of your arms. So I do a little bit. The drill also heats up. So I don't want to overheat the drill. So I do it until I can feel the drill is warm, uh, really hot. And then, uh, then I put the drill down, cool everything off as far as the drill is concerned, and come back with uh, some rubbing compound to take this residue that's on here off. So that's the next step. I'll show you how I do that. So now we're going to see how we get this kind of scuzzy looking residue off of here. And I use some uh, swirl and scratch remover on a towel. And then just uh, by hand, I just get that in there kind of work it into the surface And you can see that gradually, uh, I still have a little adhesive down here. So I'll probably hit that with a little mineral spirit. But you can see that the swirl and scratch remover is taking just the barest little bit of paint and uh, getting in there to remove the imperfections and the residue of the material still left on the body. So there's that little zone there. And you can see there's still some down here. A little bit of stuff down there. So we're going to attack that with something else. So uh, acetone is a pretty uh, good all purpose degreaser and solvent. Um, we're going to try a little of that. Excuse me for a second while I get the cap off. There we go. And we're going to saturate another cloth uh, different from the towel we were using so that we don't cross contaminate with different chemistry. We're going to just try and see if we can get that adhesive material to come up off of there. And uh, 
Looks like it's doing pretty good. Pretty good job. Okay. You can see it's taking a little a little powderized paint off the surface. Um, that's not enough paint to worry about, so I'm not worried about it. And feeling it, see I can still I can still feel there's some of that uh, residue on there. Um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna give out it a little little more. Yeah, that feels a lot better. So to uh, kind of keep things moving along, use a little more polishing compound. Now that that's loosened up, it should be able to actually polish the surface as opposed to polishing the adhesive on the surface. Um, and we should get a pretty clean, smooth bit of paint here. And there we have it in a clean, clean buffing cloth. We'll just buff that off and see how it feels. Yeah, that feels very smooth, like smooth paint. And you can see all of that residue is now pretty much gone. <coughs> so as you can see, <laughs> it took a little bit to get off just that much stripe and adhesive, etc., and get down to smooth polishable paint the stripes on these this van's 19 feet long and i've got at least 19 feet of stripe probably more like 21 feet of stripe so i've got about 120 procedures or more like this to get through i try and do about a foot at a time so just be prepared to take some time to do this there's no easy shortcut. It's just consistency and persistence, and that will get the stripe off. Um, the good news is the stripe isn't coming back. So once you get it off, get it cleaned up and polished, you're going to have a nice, clean van to look at. We'll take a look at the other side, and I'll show you what I mean. So this is the result of many hours of work. The whole side of the van is nice and clean. No stripe. Was it worth the effort? You bet. So that's it. It's a long involved process. It takes a lot of time. It wears you out. But it's worth it because now you've got a van with nice clean uh, side panels, no stripes, nice and shiny. So uh, if this was helpful to you, subscribe and always comment as you see fit. Thanks for watching. So long.